Hey guys, and welcome back to Modern Warfare. Now, it's kind of weird because now it feels like I've got to cover two separate games whenever we have an update in this game. And realistically, they are two separate games to some extent. We do have a brand new update for the game in general. So that includes Warzone and multiplayer. But in this video, we're going to focus mainly on the things that I feel that you guys probably should know within the multiplayer aspect and then the next video will be the warzone aspect now these updates are dropping at a really weird time like for me they're dropping at one in the morning and then of course if it would go live at one in the morning i'd probably stay up but then i gotta download and copy the files which copying alone takes like 35 minutes which is really really insane we've got new stuff we've got a brand new update in the multiplayer aspect of course the main focus of this video is going to be the brand new hideout map which i honestly didn't know about it but some of you guys were telling me it was in the roadmap. Honestly, don't really remember it, but uh, I guess we got a brand new map. And best of all, we've got a 24 seven playlist. On top of that, we got a brand new mode called a shot in the dark, which is pretty much infected in the dark. We also have a brand new item store update, which includes the dragon's breath shotgun, which I hear is really powerful and really annoying because it's got like incendiary rounds, incendiary rounds. <laughs> So this comes with the Colossal Takedown Calling card. We've also got the Jabberwock Weapon Charm, which looks okay, I guess. And then we've got the really crazy Fire Drake Legendary Fire Spittle Man-Eating, Slaughtering, Destroying, Incendiary Round Shotgun. I have no idea how this is going to go, by the way. Anyhow, this is the weapon. How I'm going to be rocking it. I changed absolutely nothing. Just added my signature Kiss Lipstick sticker my weapon charm and of course these are all the attachments that it comes with i really want to try out this map because i feel like it's probably going to be a pretty fun map but i'm also like eager to play warzone i'm like right now tingling in my skin i just want to jump into warzone and play some warzone so if i bring like a game only on this map do not hate me just because all right so we've been put into this map out of nowhere how big is this map about a medium size maybe maybe smaller you guys also know how i hate uh getting into games that have already been started but i guess we have no other choice here dude i have no what is this map well, what the hell is it shut oh my god ah! i want to go in there fucking shit all right well that was a good two minutes of my life wasted there was like a hallway that i couldn't go into then I got killed by some random dude. I got like two kills with the incendiary rounds, which so far looks like it's going to be really irritating, but I still have no idea what the hell's going on. I'm also really interested to see how it plays out when it transfers over to Warzone. Will these incendiary rounds be super overpowered for armor? Who knows? But uh, here we go. We're going to play some hardpoint. Probably one of the modes that I'm the most terrible at. Fuck out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, come well, At least I know that if I burn them, they don't die immediately. <laughs> Okay, all right, um, dude, you guys realize I just, what the hell is wrong with this hallway? Burn. What? Let's see if I can go for the flank. This gun may actually be really fucking good. And let me tell you, this little layout this map's got going on, it's actually not that bad. Daddy's home. Okay, I'm kind of sort of like getting my ass kicked here, but this map is Let me see did he die he didn't die Get ready. We're about to move. Ah! Just go, go to the fucking window It's gonna be somebody here Yep, got him He's still up and running not anymore though now he did. I don't know why, but this shotgun's actually really fun. <laughs> yeah, so it's like you get the kill sometimes, but not all the times. Like there'll be times where I see like I hit them and they just burn. But there's also times where they actually manage to escape. So I don't, I don't really know. It is good though. I will say it is good. And I know it's going to be irritating because that whole little incendiary side effect, it's really fucking annoying. So don't be surprised if people start abusing this shotgun. What the, fire. what the fuck is Shut up Punk Oh let's go oh, I didn't get the fucking shit God I thought that C4 killed both of them And all I did was get an assist <laughs> Yep 
Come on, punks. Come on, dude. Really? This is actually one of the very few maps where I can say that I'm getting my butt kicked and I'm still having fun. Because I'm still actually having fun. I don't know if it's the map or maybe just the shotgun. And wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> uh, okay, that didn't last too long. Here we go, boys. Here we go. This is it. This is the one. Come on, what the hell? How does it take so long to frick? Get the hell out! Oh shit! Come on! I just know for a fact this is gonna be a problem in Warzone. <laughs> this is gonna piss a lot of people off. Uh, for a fact, I just know it. Just sneak around, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go for the flank. We're on back. Boom! Get burned, punk. Anybody else in here? Yep. Get ready. We're about to move. Fuck! See that that pump delay, like when you shoot somebody and then you got you got like that second split delay between one shot and the other it's so crucial when you have just a bunch of people coming at you i mean it's fair it'd be unfair if it didn't have that obviously i feel like i'm getting more percentage deaths when i'm aiming down the site as opposed to when i'm just hit firing and that guy didn't die even though he was burning to death <laughs> here we go here we go here we go here we go how does he know i'm fu go upstairs go upstairs Oh, what the f Wow, really? Look at this dude. Surprisingly enough, the brand new shotgun's pretty insane. I don't think it's to the point where it's like super annoyingly overpowered. It could be, maybe I just have to play with it more and see some of the things it can do. Um, but there were instances where I would kill someone or shoot someone and they wouldn't die and they'd still be lit up. Obviously that all depends on the distance that you hit them from and all that stuff, but uh, really, really interesting. Last match of the day. I'm back for payback. Don't mind if I do, baby. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, that's my own teammate. Oh, my God. The guy coming through the back. See, when it's a little bit less chaotic, it's easier. Nice. All right, guys. Oh, come on. How do you even... Jesus Christ. It always happens. When I know and I feel a perfect flank, somebody just pops out. It's like, I swear, a percentage of this game or doing well on this game has to do with luck. <laughs> There's just no way. Is this just a random hallway there? Like, patch that up maybe or something. I don't know. Got him. Don't worry, boys. My C4 is on full effect right now. Ah, you see right there, like, I wish I would have been able to kill that guy. There are parts where the incendiary rounds don't really do their job, but it, it's okay. It's still powerful. I, I believe that it's still a good add-on. See right there? It gives you that little extra damage that you need just to finish them off. Having these rounds pretty much just makes this shotgun a two-shot kill at most. See, I also feel like if I probably knew the hideouts of this map a little bit more, I'd probably do better. Like, maybe if I were playing... All right, well, that was trash. I almost feel like if I knew the map layout a little better, I'd probably do better. <laughs> it's We're going to be in here. What the fuck is that? These things just make no sense to me. And well, just like that, we're now at the point where there's only two people left on the other team. So now this is a dead game. Yeah, I think we're going to end it there. I don't totally agree with that last death that I had, but uh, 
with the same token i also had some pretty awesome moments with this weapon i don't know if it'll be as frustrating or as overpowered as the rounds were in call of Duty world war ii if you guys remember the shotguns with incendiary rounds were a nightmare in world war ii in this game i don't know if they'll be as overpowered but i do feel like they will cause a little bit of an issue in certain occasions because it just pretty much almost all the time guarantees a two shot kill no matter what because of the effect of the burning but it's pretty interesting i like the fact that they did it i don't know uh <laughs> if it's going to be considered broken or toxic to run this along the way as as you know the the life cycle of this game proceeds forward but i guess only time can tell let me know what you guys think of the incendiary rounds in call of duty modern warfare do you like them do you not let me know in the comments thank you for watching and i will catch you in warzone later on hopefully if i can manage to do something decent all right <laughs> peace out